Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about TypeScript. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, do you think TypeScript is becoming a requirement on the job market? Yes, for sure. I would say that it's not at, it's not at the point yet where I, it's like at the as like a standard for every company, but it's really quickly it's quickly getting there. It's the adoption of type. Think TypeScript. If I don't, I you you have to uh, just take what I say now with a pinch of salt. But I've, if I'm not mistaken, I think TypeScript was the high the fastest climbing language. 2019 or something like that. I can't remember. Stack Overflow posted it, and it's like climbed several steps upwards, of going over several very prominent languages that uh, that has been around. I think it's even. Well, I don't want to say too much here, but I think it even passed Go or something like that. And Go is extremely beloved. So I mean, TypeScript is gaining enormous momentum. And in as a backend developer, no. TypeScript is not necessarily the thing that's, well, if you're a Node.js developer, that might be different. I mean, I personally feel that if you're going to do anything in Node, anything remotely serious in Node, uh, use TypeScript, because TypeScript is like, I see, honest to God, it's one of my favorite languages. I can't, uh, personally, uh, if I'm letting my heart make the decision for me, it's going to be TypeScript and Rust. Like these are, for personal reasons, my favorite languages uh, overall, I would say. And the, uh, but but if you look at say the front end community, then yes, for sure, the, the it's getting to the point where you kind of expect people to know TypeScript at this point. The f beautiful thing about it is that uh, I got a question the other day from someone who was asking me about, well, Fred, should I focus on TypeScript or should I learn JavaScript first and then learn TypeScript? And I tried to explain that you can start out with TypeScript today. There is not re. I can mean sure you can do the JavaScript thing. You can do some basics in JavaScript and so forth. But if you're gonna be say a front-end developer, do anything related to front-end, uh, unless you're really just aiming to learn the very bare-bone basics about how to do JavaScript on an HTML page or something like that, then I think that you should start with TypeScript because the the beautiful part about TypeScript is that it simply adds things on top to JavaScript. Therefore by just by extension if you know typescript you know javascript i know that it doesn't feel that way and i know that for a beginner that's i mean it's of course because i and i got some feedback on that and that is absolutely true a, another per, a, another commenter said that well frederick you you know understand that because you're like you're you're a professional but for a beginner it may not be so straightforward and i agree i'm not saying that you, that you will make that mental connection just automatically. But what I, will, what I will tell you is that you have to start somewhere. You have to start learning one or the other. And if you start with, say, TypeScript, and it turns out that, well, you're going to go to this other company that just uses JavaScript, it's very likely that it will be easier for you to l go from learning and to go from understanding how TypeScript works to understanding how JavaScript works than the reverse. The reason why I argue that is because if you if you let's say that you just do PHP development and I'm not I'm just going to assume that you're doing like the naive stuff without any type of type system or anything like that. If you're using scripting languages and you need to introduce a type system on top of that na that knowledge, that is a transition. It's going to be a transition for you. I promise you, it's going to be a transition for some people. Like they they feel so strongly about that that there's this whole rivalry between type languages and scripting languages, and that's why, but the, the fundamental truth is that the scripting languages are looser than the typed languages, or like the compiled language, it doesn't really matter. If you have a type system that is, an, a, the, with the type system you enforce and limit yourself in a sense uh, in different ways than if you don't have a type system. In other words, it is quote unquote harder to grasp all the rules and learn how to write really good, efficient code, there are a lot of benefits with this as well. In a, but in a type system, with a type system, that is usually more difficult for you than it is in a non-typed programming language. I'm not treat. I don't want you to treat this as a universal truth. But what I'm in, in essence saying to you is that 
by using TypeScript uh, uh, as a first choice, you're actually going to be able to write better JavaScript than the reverse. Because if you go from JavaScript to TypeScript, you will be able to adopt it. I'm pretty, I promise you, you will be able to do it. It's just that the transition may not be as smooth as if you go the other way around. So if you're starting from scratch, you may as well start with TypeScript because there, this is the direction everything is moving towards. And as I said, at the same time, there's really no downside, or there's a very small downside to, to, to the whole thing. Because once you know how something works in TypeScript, it is almost like it's like the tiniest little difference to make that TypeScript file into a JavaScript file. It is, and I'm saying that the difference is smaller than practically any language that you can imagine. Or when talking, you know, everybody says that Java and uh, C Sharp, well, they're practically the same language. This is even closer. This is the, the difference between TypeScript and JavaScript is to you, it's for an analogy, I mean, if you're in a Scandinavian, you know, Norwegian and Swedish are so close that we can just talk to each other in our native language and we will understand each other. Uh, American English and um, uh, uh, British English, like the, 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 the overlap is so, so high that it's almost non-existent. So what I want you to take away from this is that I think that TypeScript is very quickly becoming a requirement to do any type of meaningful work, any in any type of large scale development in the front end. It's not to the point yet where I would say that you have to learn it. It is a core skill, but it's very close. I would say that TypeScript is, if not as close, almost at the very least, as close to core knowledge as say something like Docker. Now, Docker is not necessarily something that everybody has to know, but it is so widespread at this point that even if you don't run it in production, if you're not using microservices or anything like that, it is simply such a convenient tool for you that you're at the very least going to pr probably use it as part of your personal development workstation. And I will say to you that I think that TypeScript is getting very close, if not even passing that bar um, that stage. So I think that if you're if you're gonna get into this whole front-end thing on JavaScript and so forth, unless your aim is to just learn the basics of how to do front-end work, because if that is the case, then just you know stick with JavaScript. But if you wanna be a little bit more serious about it, go with TypeScript, and I promise you, it will not be wasted time. It is much, more, much better for you, in my opinion, to learn TypeScript and then understand and then understand and then get to a point where you understand how JavaScript works than the other way around. Have a great day.